Big Three for Fantasy Alarm TV. I'm your host, Ray Flowers. Let's talk pitchers in this edition of the Big Three. We're going to start with the number of 1.70, which happens to be the ground ball to fly ball ratio of the last 20 starts for Jimmy Nelson of the Brewers. Now, that's a really, really good number. It's not elite. Elite is probably two or better. But 1.70 ground ball to fly ball ratio is an excellent mark. If any pitcher had that, you'd be excited. So why isn't there more hype with Jimmy Nelson? He's on the Brewers. Victories figured to be a little tough to come by this year, but we're talking about a very young, solid pitcher on the hill. In that 20 start time, we've got that 1.7 ground ball to fly ball ratio. We've got a 7.3 strikeout per nine rate. The 3.5 walks per nine innings are a little bit high. He still only has a 1.2 whip though in that time. If he can cut the walks down, and I'm talking like half about it to bring that number down to the league average, we really could be cooking with gas, as they say, with Jimmy Nelson. Not taking the next step, not elite, but very good for a long period of time, and someone that should be talked about a little bit more in the fantasy game. The next number is 3.65. That's the area of Nathan Eovaldi, his last six starts. Now, we've been through this before. We've seen this before. The question with Eovaldi isn't can he dominate in a short period of time or have success. It's what can he do over 10, 15, 25 starts. One of the hardest throwers in baseball. If you look at the numbers on the surface, they are a little bit better than Jimmy Nelson over those last six starts. 60% ground ball rate, 7.3 strikeouts per nine, a really intriguing 2.0 walk rate per nine innings. If Eovaldi can handle and hold the production he has right now, if you can do that the rest of the way, you're really going to want him on your pitching staff. Again, though, the strikeouts have never matched the arm. Consistency has never been there for him. Be cautiously optimistic with Nathan Eovaldi. And then the final number is 9.47. I get Justin Verlander's one signing awards. I get he's one of the best righties of our generation. I get he's married to Kate Upton. I get it. But folks, be careful with Justin Verlander. I say this every year. People discount it. And at the end, people are saying, what happened to Justin Verlander? Yeah, the strikeout rate right now is really intriguing given where he's been the last few years. But understand the following. 3.6, 3.16 walks per nine innings right now would be an eight-year high. His current whip, while solid at one, two, three, not taking anything away from him, that number is above his career average. You have to understand with Justin Verlander what you got. What you got with Justin Verlander is a good pitcher, nothing more. 0.76 ground ball to fly ball ratio, by the way, would tie his mark from last season, which was a career worst. More walks than we're used to seeing. Terrible ground ball to fly ball ratio. Strikeouts are nice and hinting at potential success moving forward. But understand, Verlander is not a star. He's not a top 25 pitcher. Be cautious with the name. The game is good but not where it once was.